hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is olivia alex uzo and if this is your first time of seeing my face you're welcome to this channel please feel free to subscribe like my videos comment and share my videos with your friend and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back to this channel thank you for subscribing thank you for supporting me and also feel free to like the videos share with your friends and leave me a comment in the comment section i will appreciate it so much in today's video i'm going to be talking about parenting you see a lot is happening these days if we are not up to our game our children are going to be useless i know the word useless is a very huge one and i'm sorry about that that is what it's going to be because a lot of things are happening these days and you'll be wondering where are these children learning all these things from some parents they don't care what their children watch they don't care what is going on in the lives of their children and then tomorrow you come crying that your child is doing this, your child is doing that and that you've done all you need to do but yet he or she is still doing something like that. The Bible said train up a child in the way he should go. It didn't say wait for when they are old before you take. He said that when they are old they will never depart from that which you've taught them. These days the internet is filled with a lot of things. Children can't even scroll through the internet without getting their eyes on pornographic items or even videos on so many of them. And some parents, what they allow their children to access the internet. Watch what your children watch. It is very, very important. Pay attention to what they watch. I woke up to a very disturbing news from one Christland school in Lagos. His 10-year-old child was raped when they went for one event in Dubai and then the act was recorded and it was posted on Instagram. I don't know who posted it. I think it was posted by the people. I was like, what? How did we get here? A 10-year-old was raped by a 10-year-old or probably 11 or so, I don't know, but they were in the same age bracket. How did they learn that? Probably from the internet because no parents teaches her children how to have sex. No parents teaches that. So how did that child learn that act? How did they learn that act? It is a very, very disturbing news. I must tell you honest. How did kids get to this in 10 years? 10 years. This is someone that when I was 10, I don't even... <laughs> oh my God. The world is coming to an end. A lot is happening. A lot is happening. How do they have access to the internet to post such video without shame? You see, parents, we need to up our game. We need to be more careful. We need to be more active in our parenting duties because our children are going bad day by day. Okay, at first, I saw a comment on Facebook where someone said he can never allow his children go to such events at that age and i was like yes this is what i know my parents did when we were still young my mom will never allow us go for any event she doesn't allow us go there except she will be going with us or a trusted adult I, i'm laying emphasis on trusted this day safe it's hard to find someone you would trust except a trusted adult is going with us because when you allow children mix together both your, the trained and the untrained, a lot is going to happen, especially when they are underage. Some of them have not even learned how to speak up for themselves. Some of them have not even learned how to say no to some things. It is very, very important that you pay attention to what your children watch. It is very, very important, honestly. Watch after them. And then it is very, very important that you pray for your children. The Bible said that the devil is roaming around, seeking for who to devour. And if you are not watchful in prayers, he will devour your children. Every parent, mother and father, should pray seriously for their children because the days are evil. Nowhere is safe. The church is not safe. The school is not safe. The house is not safe. It's only in Christ Jesus that your children are safe. And it is best if you put them in the care of God. Because that place you are sending them, you are sending them to the best school. Chris Lance, we know, is one of the best schools in Lagos. So you are sending them to the best schools. Even those best schools, those best churches, they are not safe. Only God will save our children. My prayer is that God is going to help us. Our children are not going to make mistakes and we are not going to lose them to anything in the mighty name of Jesus. So that will be all for now. Until then, see you in my next video. And please, if you've not subscribed, please do well to subscribe. Support me, like my videos, comment, and share with your friends. Alright? Bye!